at gayon. Ang pinakahihintay ng buong bayang Pilipinas, nagkatotoo na rin ang pinapangarap na rekonsilyasyon na kay tagal nang hinihintay ng buong bayan. At ang rekonsilyasyon na ito ay dyan magaganap dito mismo sa RPN The Network sa pinakamalakas na programang Actually yun na, mga kababayan. Dito lang pwede magtagpo ang silangan at kanluran, ang langit at lupa, ang buwan at araw, ang Romualdez, ang Kuwampo, Marcos, Aquino at Ignacio. <laughs> Walang iba kundi si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Tumayo po tayo lahat at magtugay. Congressman! Hello po. Welcome to Actually Unite. Thank, Thank you very you much at pinaunlakan mo kami. No, not at all. It's, it's a pleasure. Nung, nung dumating yung panyaya sa akin, edi sabi ko, bakit hindi? Sa, sa wakas. Sa... Oo, oh, ano man. At magkumpare at kumare tayo. Ah, mayon, Meron ah, kaming ah. inaanak yung anak ko ng isang mayor from Isabela, si Mayor Bodji D. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, a little busy, but... I uh, commented kanina na you lost a lot of weight. Is I, it because of your health club, hindi? Well, uh, I try to keep a health regimen. Talagang uh, nat natutunan ko yun sa ama ko is to try and uh, exercise. Lalo na pagka uh, nangangampanya ka o nasa labas ka, it's very important, you know, because you have to keep going, you don't eat at the right time, hindi ka natutulog. So, those things have to be maintained. Speaking of your father, what was President Marcos like as a father growing up? Kasi how old were you when he was elected, Bale? Um, yung presidente? yung unang birthday ko sa Palacio was eight. Eight, eight years, years old. old. Oh. So most, actually all of your teenage years. All of my teenage years and including your twenties. Most of my twenties. Uh -oh. yeah, mga twenty-eight na kami nung umalis. So that was uh, that was a long, long time. Yeah. In the was Palacio. he a disciplinarian? Well, hindi naman sa disciplinarian in the sense that uh, he would make very clear kung anong, uh, anong hinahanap niya sa inyo, what mm -hmm. he expects from you. And he would make it very clear if you did not live up to the standards that he put, that uh, may, na medyo masama ang loob niya sa iyo. Uh, in terms of actual pure discipline, yung pumapalo or something like that, hindi naman gano. Ang mommy mo? Mami ko, mas lalong yes. hindi. Masyadong mabait yun. She cannot even, uh, she, she would just, uh, siguro pag hindi na niya matiis yung, uh, yung frustration niya, iiyak na lang yun. Pero I, in terms of actual, actual beating, as, the, as yes. the English call it, I was beaten more in my school in England than I ever was by my parents. But when you were studying here, nasa Lasal ka, La Salle, Green Hills, yes. How was it? Uh, was it a problem dahil marami kang bodyguards? Were the other boys... Ilang? Medyo aloof ba sila sa'yo? Well, I'm sure nadaanan mo rin yun. Yet, of course, hindi, pero ako high school na, oh, so medyo iba na yung ano noon. Kasi kung bata naman, yung mga ganong, ganong edad, hindi pa masyadong naiisip. Natutuwa lang sila. May mga baril ba yan? May mga ano, yan lang naman ang tinatanong. But uh, madaling makalimutan yan. Basta't mga bata, nakikita mo, magsasama-sama. Maglalaro yan. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. And uh, when, it, when it would have been a problem in high school, I had already left. So I was uh, in, the, in, in England. Hindi na masyado yung security nakikita. Nung ano ka, when you were growing up, did you have children's parties sa Malacanang? Oh, madalas. Madalas. In fact, yung mga children's parties namin, yung mga party uh -huh. namin mga magkakapatid, doon na ginagawa sa, sa Palacio. Because uh, we would invite a lot of people. They would have performers and things like that. We'd have, we'd have great parties in the Palacio. All your life, kasi, bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way. The, the only way you can uh, explain uh, my have, having entered politics is mm -hmm. definitely because of uh, how my father really, uh, that he, he even said it in his, uh, when he was still alive, uh, that, that uh, he would say, I have committed not only myself, to the work that I have done. I have not committed only my person, but my wife and my family too. And uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not, not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the, the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na, na alam na namin na uh, kahit papano, yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for, for the rest of our lives, um, in whatever fashion. So, and it, it's turning out to be true because how can something that that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just just go away so kahit na ngayon ilang taon na ito, we're still feeling the effects of uh, what my father what my father did and i have no doubt uh, to the day i die i will be feeling those effects you're the middle child but i am the middle child yes 
How is it? Kasi ako youngest eh, so medyo na baby talaga ako. Ikaw middle child, only boy pa. Ah, uh, siguro I don't know. It never felt Dominating like. Dominating bang ate si Amy? In Hindi the, naman. Uh, ate. She was a proper uh-huh. ate. Tinuturo ang kami. Kaya halimbawa nung bata pa kami nung una kami dumating lalo sa England dahil. Uh, hindi, hindi Bakit kami marunong. kayo pinadala sa England? Mostly security. Yes. Uh, madami kami problema sa security dahil uh, ako, marami Anong mga kidnapped friends. Anong year na when friend. you went to England? I Bale? left for England in 1969. My first, uh-huh. no, 70. 70 was my first year there. And then, you stayed there until when? I stayed there for almost 10 years until uh, the eight, I until I left for uh, University of uh, Philadelphia, of Pennsylvania. Nag-Wharton ka, Yeah, that's when so, I went to Wharton, yeah. Do you feel na those 10 years helped you a lot? Kasi at least, um, he, medyo ordinaryo kang citizen. In, oh, malaking, in, oh, malaking bagay. Dahil, in fact, that was one of the reasons no, that my father, but uh, of, of course, he would have preferred Na oh. dito kami naka, dito kami nakatira sa Manila. How did you keep in touch with what was going on dito? It was Kasi syempre when martial law was declared, you were abroad. It wasn't easy. I was uh, when martial law was declared, uh-huh. uh, we had expected something dramatic to yes. happen. Uh, because marami nang beses na my dad would say that this is a real problem, we may have to do this, we may have to do that. But um, in, in 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 general, how did we keep up? My parents would send us newspaper clippings. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would call. We would write. In, in in my school in England, there was uh, you had to write one letter to your parents every week. Talaga. So that uh, that was it was actually a good thing because I- iba yung tawag eh. iba yung iba yung sulat yung sulat hinahawakan mo and you can read it again and again. And it really uh, taught, taught, I think, both sides, including my parents, the, the habit of writing. So they would send us the news. Uh, nung nauso na yung um, videotape, magpapadala yes. ng videotape. So that they would try. But inevitably, pag uwi mo rito, maraming nangyari na hindi mo na, na malayan. So you just have to catch up. Medyo let's go naman dun sa lighter side. Ang first girlfriend mo ba since you were in England? <laughs> British ba siya? <laughs> Ay, nako, nung nasa England ako, wala akong panahon. Hindi, hindi kami pinapalabas na iskulahan. They would not, they would let oh. me out. I would be in school for, isang semester namin was three months. Mm-hmm. Sa tatlong buwan, I would be able to sleep one night outside of school. Yun lang. Yun lang. Uh-huh. And every month, I could spend one Sunday out of school. So, so when you'd make ligaw, dito na? Ah, dito na siguro sa Pilipinas. Kasi dito, doon, halos di ka, kahit yung mga restaurant, yung mga bar, di ka makapasok, yung mga nightclub. Eh dito, hindi masyadong strict to. Kahit basta't may kasama kang may edad, they will let you in. Do you feel na a lot of the girls were <laughs> fawning over you na pinagkakaguluhan ka dahil bongbong Marcos ka? Uh, or do you think it's your charming personality? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that they were fawning over me to begin with. Uh, I don't know kung bakit lahat ng tao ang kanilang impression sa akin are that the women were fawning over me. There were, believe me, there were times kung I would be calling, trying to get a date, and I couldn't get a date. Why suddenly this image of uh, women fawning all over me? But I, I don't know. Uh, I think yung uh, pag, you, you tell me if I'm right. Yung paganak ng presidente that last mga five ten minutes, unless may complex na talaga yung tao, yung talang galit sa yung dahil anak ka ng presidente, wala ka na magagawa. But karamihan naman ng mga tao, pagka nakausap mo na, after 5-10 minutes, wala na, that's over. Uh, except for the fact that you're surrounded by... Would anybody armed... have the guts to say na, Oy, pare, galit ako sa'yo, bakit ganyan naman ang mga magulang mo? Would they d- dare do that to you? Hindi naman. Meron, magkikriticize sila, pero hindi yung galit ako sa'yo. Sasabihin, bakit naman ganyan? Alam mo yung tao, hindi ganyan dapat, hindi ganyan ang, hindi tama ang ginagawa, hindi, hindi ganyan ang tingin sa ginagawa ninyo, etc., etc. So, uh, Inevitably, that, that would happen. Kasi naman, if you have good friends, uh, they will tell you what they believe to be the best. Pagka naman sa tingin nila, it's, 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 it's a criticism that is not merely to, not, not mischievous or naninira lang, then that's, that's valid and you just accept it. How would you react about the criticism hurled at your parents through the press and through the mass media? Uh, I guess nung talagang mabigat na at saka masakit na, well, there were times, no, that uh, especially after 86 when people were taking real liberties with the truth and uh, wala nandoon kami hindi na hindi, hindi kami makasagot hindi kami hindi, wala kami access sa mga media wala tayong magagawa ganun lang talaga but yung run of the mill na pangkaraniwan na criticism kung tawagin let's say sa sa mga payagan sa radyo sa TV well i have been i we, we have been experiencing my father's political life 
for a long, long time. I remember in 1963-64 when he was Senate President. Wala kaming narinig kundi oust Senate President Marcos every day. I remember that. So, we have been used, we've been used to this kind of thing. No? And uh, kahit papano, if you're in politics, there's no way around it. Wala ka naman magagawa na lahat masaya. Eh. May, merong merong magkikriticize kahit ano pang gawin mo. So, you just have to take it uh, as it comes. And as I said, keep your mind open. And kung talagang uh, it is a it is a constructive criticism. Then sige, makinig ka. But uh, you also have to not take it all to heart because kung minsan, etong mga nagsasalita ng uh, pinipintas ang kayo, it's not because they really believe that. Dahil kalabang mo. Eh. Ano pa naman gagawin nila? Alang naman na eh, they pupuri ka. So they will. It is part of their job. So you just have to take trabaho lang. Ganyan lang naman talaga. Bong, how many percent of your father's ideology did you believe in? Meron ba times na sasabi mo, hindi pa, hindi ganyan eh. Ito yung pananaw ko. Lalo na, I guess, when it came to youth affairs. Well, I think in it, uh, it came after, I was, it so happened that when all this uh, turmoil was going on here, um, I, was in the, I was in England studying political, well, one of the subjects I was studying was political science. And many times, especially when it is uh, explained to you in a very idealistic way, as it is in school, um, sasabihin ko, oh, di kung ganun, bakit yung sa amin ganito? And, uuwi ako, Dad, explain mo nga sa akin ito. And we would, we, would, we would argue. And I came around to his way of thinking. And uh, uh, in terms of the pure, the pure fundamental ideology of, of, of what my father was uh, espousing, uh, I think that still is valid even today. Um, of course, the, the, the time has changed and much has changed. The Philippines has changed. The Philippines have changed. Do you talk to na, na, nandito ako nung uh, pinag-uusapan ng kabataan. Ang kabataan ngayon napakalaking iniba na kaysa sa kabataan na nakaraan. Do you think pwede pa tayong bumalik dun sa could it be possible na martial law would come back to the Philippines? Could a person be as strong as your father was? Or do you think we have enough electoral safeguards ngayon at malakas na ang Senado at Kongreso na imposible nang mangyari yun ulit? Well, speaking as an oppositionist, uh, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know na malakas na ang Kongreso at saka ang Senado because uh, the, the Pangasinan Express is one term that has been used about the, House mm -hmm. of, about the Congress. But uh, I, I think what uh, it is not what, what how my father was able to consolidate his uh, foundation was really the key. And if we are going to talk about martial law, ang martial law ang ang uh, inaasahan mo, ang sinasandala mo dyan, ang militar. Yes. At kung ang militar ay nahati, eh, wala kang mo hindi mo hindi mo magagawa ang martial law dahil pag nag-declare ka ng martial law, kalahati lang sasama sa'yo o ilan lang ang sasama sa'yo. Yung iba, tumututul, kakalabanin ka pa. So, it won't, it won't work. Uh, it really, you know, many people, many, many people have the impression na naging ganun yung ama ko dahil naisipan niya mag-martial law. Mm -hmm. Hindi sa ganun. Ang nangyari, inisa-isa niya yan and he had to consolidate his power, his, the foundations of his power. And you cannot, it is, it is not something that you do by the stroke of a pen. It is really a... Uh, a political exercise yeah, by which you bring all the forces allied to you together. Now, pag you declare something like martial law, I do not believe that the military is uh, is as united uh, or or has been as united since uh, the events of '86. But are we evident. better off this way now? Wala tayong general verna, strong man lang. Na medyo yung power talaga is divided. We are talking about friends of mine, so uh, I would beg to differ. I would beg to differ about. Uh, uh, your outlook. So, but I don't know. Uh, the military should really should really be as one. Uh, and mm -hmm. it is, you know, I spent a little time in the military, and to see soldiers uh, literally shooting each other is a, a very painful thing, and uh, that is something that is to be avoided. So, if we can avoid, if we can avoid the involvement, perhaps of of, of uh, soldiers in politics, maybe that would be something. But. The way things have happened, the way the, hist the history has, mm -hmm. has unfurled itself, is that I would say that uh, the soldiers have perhaps also earned a right to be part of the political process. Now, how they will exercise that right is something that we in the Philippines will have to dis discuss for ourselves and decide for You're ourselves. You're not talking about the junta. No, not uh -oh. necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. I, that's what, that's, that, you see, there is a... There is a um, an idea, especially from the Western mm -mm. Western governments, that gov that the civilian authorities over the military should be paramount. 
I agree with that. But whether or not the, the, the military should be allowed to make themselves felt as citizens is perhaps another question that we in this country, paano mo ngayon paatrasin ang ramo sa politika? Hindi na naman sasabihin, let us now suddenly declare that all military people are not allowed to involve themselves in politics. That would be crazy because you just couldn't do it. Siyempre They naman, dahil sila botante na, din. Hindi lang sa ganun, nandyan na sila. Mm -hmm. eh, Pinagpag-usapan natin si Greg Gunasan kung tatakbo o hindi. Nandyan na ang ano, paano mo sasabihin? Kung oh, tumakbo siya, iboboto mo ba siya? Si Greg, depende uh -huh. sa plataforma niya. Uh, and so far, sa pag pinapag -usapan, yung nap napapag-usapan, he is still reformist and uh, mm -hmm. what uh, he intends to do what what he has said that he would do does it impress you it seems to it seems to jive with much of uh, what, much of my thinking so i would i would like to get get into it more i would speak to him about it mm -hmm. but on the face of it i, I would say that perhaps uh, we would we would have much in common na nila ako. but before we go to our commercial gap i need a light or question from tita sording gusto ko marinig yung bong bong <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes, you, Chris. Swerving. And good evening, Bong Bong Marcos. No? Uh, kasi Bong Bong, <laughs> uh, when, nung uh, tumawag ako sa phone, sa office ng, uh, ng office mo, no? sa congressman's office, uh, para bang hanggang ngayon, binabanggit pa ang uh, Chris at Chris sa'yo, totoo bang nagkaroon ka ng crush kay Chris Aquino? Aray ko naman, just go! <laughs> Okay, sasagutin ni Bong Bong yan. After you pause for this, please don't go away. We're back. Arnelli, ano? Ay, ako na ano, embarrassed daw ako sa tanong oh. nyo. Kalain ni Bong Bong, pinafeed ko yan. Alay lang, alay. Yung may, <laughs> kung meron, nagkaroon siya ng crush sa'yo, oh. yung ba yun? Sinet, oh. No, hindi, Chris. Hindi, sorry, hindi nga. You're so embarrassing. Oh. Oh. Ah, talaga. I'm sorry, Chris. Pero, uh, nung nakausap ko kasi yung secretary ni uh, Bong Bong sa office, Bong -bong. lagi daw binabanggit yung ano, Chris Aquino hanggang ngayon. Totoo oh. yan. Pagka lumalabas ako, oh, ay, 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 ay. Ito nakakrush. Pagka... Yeah, is it because siguro may Romeo and Juliet mentality yes. talaga ang mga That's Pilipino? That's absolutely right. Pagka nagla, nag, nagla, lumalabas ako at nagsasalita ako before people, uh, siyempre at, at, at one point mag-open forum kung minsan mm -hmm. or sa press conference, lalo sa kabataan, laging tinatanong, uh, kung ikaw ba'y papasok sa larangang pelikula, uh, papayag ka ba na leading lady mo si Chris? Yan ang mga tanong nila sa akin. So, up to now, yan napapag-usapan. Dahil nga dun sa nabanggit mo, yung nagawang bong-bong you know, bong and play. Chris. Alam mo, na, ano, yes, Senorita Preciosa. I have a follow-up question para kay Congressman. Ano. I understand your wife is a lawyer. Uh, was it, what is it like to live with a lawyer wife? Does she nag? Do you argue a lot? Do Will you debate like, at ano, the dinner table? Hillary Rodham Clinton. Well, <laughs> see, Lisa ba has the Lisa, tendency. no. Lisa is like, you know Lisa. She's, yes, not, she's not at all like that. Uh, Lisa does not bring her work home. Pagka, mm -hmm. Uh, is she a practicing lawyer? Yes, she is. She is practicing Corporate right or criminal? Uh, she was in litigation, but she's uh -oh. now uh, sort of going towards corporate mm -hmm. more and more. Uh, on, on a professional basis, lalo na on, in my work, I need legal opinion. And mm -hmm. kung nagbabasa ko or something, and there's nobody else to ask, I need a legal opinion. I am lucky to have my wife. So you work to, hand in hand? Well, with your wife. no. We, 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 in terms of profession, because she is, a, she is a professional and she's a lawyer and she's a very good one because I've worked with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when it comes to lawyering, uh, out, sasabihin ko, hindi naman talaga ako abogado sa so tatanong ko sa kanya. How active is she in politics? Does she go house to house then pag kampanya? Or? It's, she's, not, she's slowly getting, getting into it. You know, uh -huh. Hindi naman siya sanay sa politika. Uh, in fact, pagka sinasabihan siya na kailangan siya pupunta rito, lalabas dyan, she always says, I'd rather work uh, quietly behind the scenes, maybe help with the, with the arrangements How and all that. How is your mom as a mother-in-law? Oh, she's great. She's great. Ah, oh, yeah. In fact, I, I, I always tease her that she's nicer to, our, to the in-laws than she is to her actual <laughs> kids. She's much stricter with the kids. With uh, Greggy and Tommy and Lisa, she's always very supportive. Pero sa inyo... Well, sa amin, eh, iba na talaga pagka-anak, eh, magkamali ka lang, anak mo yun, you know. She, she says, she, she, again, it's, the, it's mm -hmm. those levels of standards that, uh, it's those levels of standards that uh, my father said. I suppose it's the same kind of thing that uh, she's trying to continue to, to, uh, to keep uppermost in our, in our minds, that there uh, is a level of standard that you... How okay, old is your son me? now? My I'm son sorry. is, my son is uh, 10 months. Oh, ten, ten months, months old. Mag-one year na March, March na pinanganak. So, do you think na your son will also be geared towards following in your footsteps? 
I always say that whatever, no, my, my son will not be pushed or he will be exposed to mm -hmm. everything that, that goes on in the, in the real world. But uh, he will have a choice. And uh, when the time comes for him to decide what he, his career will be, he will have a choice. He can be a musician, he can be a writer, he can be a politician, he can be any, anything he wants. Speaking uh, Chris, of exposure, Chris. sorry, na, last question. Oh, sige, sige. Kasi ito, ito, sige, 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 sige. And that's why it's exposure. Because oh. 1986 had a profound effect on my life, as I'm sure it had a profound effect on your life. Do you think na, um, with what happened, did it bring your family closer together? Dahil, diba, in the face of adversity, talaga, sino bang nag unite kung hindi magkakapamilya? Totoong totoo yan. At uh, they, pagka sinasabi sa akin, is there, what are the good things that happened, you know, because of this, uh, the exile? And sinasabi naman nila, that, uh, sinasabi ko, isa sa pinakamagandang nangyari, talagang nag, nag, uh, naging malapit kami mga pamilya. And, yes. and many, and my, I wasn't married yet then, but my uh, sisters were with small children. Mm -hmm. And sinasabi nila, mas, mabuti na rin in a sense, that they now fa found the time. Kasi kung hindi nangyari yun, they'd be working, they'd be doing things. Hindi nila nakikita yung kanilang anak. Whereas now, they are able to, to just, they, well, during the, when we were in exile, they could spend time yung walang ginagawa. Exile. Was it a difficult adjustment? Kasi for us, it was a very difficult adjustment because um, biglang, your walang adjustment period, di ba normally when someone is elected, meron kang Time for yung ano, di ba? Like in yeah. the states, from Let's... November, January pa bago nagaka inauguration. So mm. maganda yung turning over. Ito bigla biglaan. Sa inyo ba ano? Was it? How did it feel? Na biglang hello, goodbye Philippines, was, hello America. And... It was. It was. Uh, it was shocking. In the pure sense, yung you were you were you were. Nalaman you... mo ba ako sino yung mga tunay na kaibigan? Oh, oh. They say that's what normally happens. Well, ano? talagang uh, makikita mo talaga kung Marami sino. Marami ba talagang balimbing? Bong. <laughs> <Yeah. Ako. laughs> Bakit? Sorry. Yeah. Ano, ah, uh, as, oh, ano. as we've mentioned, this is history in the making, oh, oh. you know. Pero matagal-tagal bago maulit ito na. Masagot mo muna sa kanya oh. yun. Yung tungkol sa balimbing. Ah, yung balimbing. Oh, sige. Oh, oh, oh. Mamaya makopa naman yung sabi mo. Sige. Kung maraming balimbing. Alam mo, ang tingin ko ganito. People people are not are not hindi naman masama ang tao meron masama talaga na hindi naman hindi naman kailangan mamintas pa eh marami pang sinasabi but there are people na makikita mo eh, that's, that's their survival din eh hinate mo ba kami? ha? Ah, 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 yun, ah, yun, ah, hindi kasi teka teka ito na nga ito ang magandang kasi segue kasi I was explaining that to him <laughs> na ano kasi Singa. before she, I was telling him na I was a year and a half tapos sabi ko kulang na lang isipin ko meron kayong mga horns sa ulo ko <laughs> dahil syempre di ba yun ang kinalakihan ko so singa, I was wondering singa. kung was the situation the same for them well, uh, I think, you know, in our case, because we have, as I said, been in politics for a long time, yung mga personal na ano namin, hindi masyadong pumapasok yan sa hate and oh. love. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, siguro sa umpisa, you know, when you, unang, unang reaction mo, uh, sasabi mo, bakit naman ganito? Bakit yung mga taong ganyan? But after a while, uh, lalo na yung sa 86, nung nasa Hawaii uh -huh. kami, Sabi mo, ganun talaga ang buhay, wala kang magagawa, just get on with it. Uh, and again, we really, got, we really came to the conclusion that they, to cloud your mind mm -hmm. with all of this uh, emotion, especially when you're talking about your public life, is, is a dangerous thing. So, iniwasan namin yun. Nakakayanan all... nyo yun to separate it. You have to. You just have to. Okay, Arnelli, ah, oh, go. Oh, ito na. Naku, nakabuelo rin ako. <laughs> Sorry! Ano, iba klase ka talaga. Nag-absent ka lang ng isang uh, lunes eh. Nag-turbo ka na eh. Hindi na, si Tito Jo Marie nagpapa-impress. Hindi ba? You are very, very good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pero, Chris, alam mo, sinabi nga natin, history in the making ito, na-interviewin mo si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Now, hindi na tayo siguro makakapag-antay pa ng isang beses na maulit ito. Yes. Now, kung sakasakali, magkabalik tayo ng sitwasyon na si Congressman ang may show at ikaw naman ang i-interview. Pwede, ba pwede ano, siya mag Ano kaya kung balik tayo natin for a while? Congressman, is there a question in your mind na noon pa, hindi mo pa namimit yes. si Chris, puro sa dyaryo lang, ano ang gusto mo itanong sa kanya? <laughs> Yung mainit-init, ha? Well, I suppose... Kahit hindi, hindi political. Kahit hindi political. Oh, wag mo na political. Ay, hindi political. Dahil hindi na wala naman sa larangan oh. politika si Chris. So, I would... No, I would... Yung mga na-headline. Yung sinabi mo, parang... Uh, 
A question for Chris Aquino from Congressman Bongbong Martin. Hindi, yung sinasabi mo, akalain yung nasabi, may sungay na and all that. How did that come about? Because we never, you know, we were always... Hindi naman ikaw siguro personally, but syempre, di ba, ang nakatatak sa utak ko, the reason my dad was in jail was because of your dad. So, tapos, ang... Oh, I'm going to go directly to him. No, it's true. It's true. Because I was explaining to him, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. 18 months? So, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. So, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. So, of course, I was in the fourth year. So, I was asking him, why is this? Why is this? And of course, I was coming back to your dad. But then, I remember, of course, that your mom was very nice to me. She 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 was very nice to me na makapunta kami sa Amerika. So, hindi naman ako blinded totally na lahat ng ginawa nyo evil. Hindi naman ganun. <laughs> I, I, I once saw your dad when he uh -huh. came to uh, when he came to the palace. Yes. Uh, na balitaan namin. Sa, I was hanging around. Si daddy nag-iisa sa opisina niya. Sabi ko, bakit walang tao? Bakit walang bisita? Sabi, pupunta si Ninoy. Mag-uusap silang dalawa. And your father arrived, and I was so surprised. Nakatago ako sa likod. This usual ko, basat may may nakik, may alam kung medyo importante ng ngayari. Like you talk about history in the making. That was history in the making. Nakatago ako sa likod, and I was so surprised. And tawagan nila Brad. Because they were both from Upsilon, de ba? And I remember a question that my father asked, and it's your your father asked this. Sabi Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako linagay support mo ni Fasio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko sa'yo, uh -huh. Brad, kung ikaw nasa position mo, sa position ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Ayun, uh -huh. nagtawanan silang dalawa. So I suppose they were able to to uh, see further than, uh, than well, that. Well, siguro, di ba, pagka mag-anak ka, mas matindi talaga ah, yung nararamdaman uh, well, mo. Well, sa bagay, kung, uh, kung gano'n ang papagos... Siguro, if um, eight months from now, and you were jailed, siguro, yung, yung anak mo rin naman, siguro, yun ang kalalakihan. Kung sino man yung in power at that time will also be i guess well we, i it i suppose it's inevitable that uh, that that would happen basta sa especially sa philippines where the politics is taken so personally yes napakalaking problema natin yan dito sa pilipinas dapat ang, ang politiko hindi naman uh, hindi naman dapat pinapasukan ng personal but uh, but in fairness naman i've always said every time napapanood ko si Bongbong na napakatalino niya napaka-articulate na at mukha naman siyang hindi makakapatay ng tao so you know what i'm saying ba mukha siyang mabait talaga please uh, yes uh, excuse me no ang ganda kasi ng discussion talaga sobra over my dead body sa totoong dugo ko lang Ah, uh, saludong saludo ako sa inyong dalawa, hinahangaan ko kayo kasi napakatalino nyo, ano? Pero, kayong dalawa ang tatanungin ko, uh, someday, may ambition ba kayo na uh, tumakbong presidente? And would you be like your father? Uh -huh. In case you'll be At maglalaban pa kayong dalawa? Oo. Uh -huh. <laughs> ako, would the scenario be the same? I think, in my case, um, mas mahirap siguro because babae nga ako. And yung sa mommy ko was a very special situation. I think, To this day, very, very male chauvinistic ang ating society. So, mahihirapan pa ho ang mga babae. I don't know if 30 years from now, the situation will be different. Pero ako siguro, gusto ko hong maglingkod sa mga mama mayan, but I don't think politics is my cup of tea at this moment. Yes, what about Bong Bong? Excuse me, Bong Bong. Una-una, I beg to differ. Ang mga wala nang, ano, wala nang, lalo na ngayon sa, we'll talk again about the youth. Yung mga kabataan, yung mga chauvinistic na dating uh, cultural uh, impediments natin, wala na ngayon yan. And I would say that uh, certainly, in, in our society, there are so many, many of the, many women are dominant in their societies. As in, sa Ilocano, talagang matriarchal society kami. And we really respect the role of a mother, wife. And the woman in our culture. So I guess you make a very good husband, because it's well, I try. What about you? About running for the presidency, I don't know. Is it one step at a time? No, I did not enter politics to to become president. You entered it for what? I entered very specific. Yung akin na dun lang nasa Hawaii kami. I remember when we arrived, they literally took everything away from us. And when we arrived, we had nothing. And ang mga tumutulong sa amin, yung mga, mga Ilocano, alam naman natin, ang daming Ilocano doon sa Hawaii. And po, lumalapit sila, tinutulungan kami, nagpap, uh, nagluluto sila, nagpinapakain kami, nagkoleksyon pa sa, para okay. makabili ng refrigerator, kung ano-ano. So, you know, you can imagine, this is some, somebody who... who, who Mararamdaman mo talaga oh, yeah, yung yeah, pagmamahal yeah. ng mga tao. So, ang aming iniisip, sabi, kailangan natin magpasalamatan itong mga ito. And this is what, how well do you serve the province? But also, I wanted to be part of the national debate. So yes. I entered, sabi ko, ideal ang Congress. 
At uh, hindi ko naman iniisip ang pagka-Senado. Eh, napapag-usapan na lang yan. So, I, I guess here we are now, life as a, mm -hmm. as a way of, of surprising us. And now that uh, I'm here, but I, I do not, I'm not, I did not go in, oh, uunahin ko yung congressman, tapos magsisenado ko, tapos tatakbo ko bilang Pangulo. Hindi ganun ang pag-iisip ko. Ang iniisip ko lang, paano maka, makapag, uh, makapagsilbi sa tao. And uh, we will see if uh, that comes, but it is not the end result. Because ang unusual sa atin dalawa, nakita natin yung pagkapangulo, hindi lang yung sa television. Yes. Nakikita natin kung gaano kahirap talaga yon. And the 20 years I'll ask you, napalad long... mo ba, Dave? Yes. Yeah. Kasi kaming lahat talaga tuwan-tuwa dun sa pelikula oh, ngayon. Did, did you feel the same way? I uh, felt ano? it would have been wonderful if we could have uh, we could have done something like that. But oh, oh. Uh, un unfortunately, it's ang sine lang yun. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have taken a, a little bit of a break. Okay, before we close, I guess, ang uh, tatanayin ko lang si Bong Bong, do you think that the name Marcos is an asset or a liability in terms of politics? Sobra bang expectations ng mga tao sa'yo? Well, and uh, in not in in a sense it is it is a liability mm -hmm. in that sense because they kahit na sinasabi ko no actually wala naman akong binabago sa yeah yeah you will be president in 10 years maraming mm -hmm. mga ganun uh, and you know you cannot you cannot uh, uh, say na, no i i have no intention that it's, it's, it's somehow disappointing to them but that is not that is not essential uh, an essential problem uh, ang I think all, overall, in fact, I have not yet found a situation where it has been a liability. Um, uh, after all, I can come and uh, speak to you on your show. So being oh. a Marcos has not, uh, held, he has not held me back in any way. It's our pleasure to have you, Dibak. Would you like to leave a message since nationwide napapanood tayo ngayon? Lalong lalo na siguro sa constituents mo sa well, inyo. Well, lalo na na ngayon na napapag-usapan natin ng uh, mga kabataan. I would just like to... Uh, you feel you're still part of the youth? Well, maybe I'm... Pwede pa, di ba? Kasi under 39. Hirap na, hirap na. And, namimili, uh -huh. namimilit na. Okay. <laughs> but... Uh, I still feel sympathetic to, to what, they, what they have to face. And uh, kung, kagaya na sabi ko, napapag-usapan ng kabataan, I would like, for, first of all, to congratulate all the delegates for the good work that they did uh, with the Pope's uh, visit. At ituloy ninyo yan, tuloy nyo yung pag-aktivista pag ninyo, tuloy nyo yung pakikialam ninyo, at kailangan kayo ng ating bansa. Do not stop, stay involved, we need you. Thank you very much, Congressman. It was a pleasure having you. Anything from you? My opponent question kasi yung mga taga Pampanga, Bong Bong, kung tatakbo yes. ka daw talagang senator. Uh, mukhang sa takbo ng panahon, ganun ang patungo ng aking gagawin. Yes, it looks like I will be running for the senator. Congratulations right? in advance. Yes. Thank you very Senorita much. Senorita Preciosa. Okay. No thank, you much, thank you very much, Thank you very much. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much. You. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Maraming maraming salamat po. Actually, you now will be...